What's up everybody? Uh, Big Boonski coming at you um, with an update. This is, um, actually I don't even think you guys did knew I was building this because I mean uh, it happened so quick uh, after I finished the Nomad, uh, what was it, a week and a half ago. Um, I started another build, which I'm going to do an update on that build probably later today or tomorrow because I want to show you guys what I'm working on on that. And, um, but I really wanted to do another truck. I, uh, I built the Nomad, I did the Rat Rod 900, and then I did three cars in a row, so I wanted to do another truck. Um, I was feeling kind of jealous, you know, I wanted to build a truck, and I see you know, all of a sudden all these videos, everybody's popping up building these trucks, and I'm like, hey, I'm feeling kind of left out here, so <laughs> uh, I went out and got this uh, Ravel um, Peterbilt Model 359. Uh, Nate uh, from Famous Racing Customs is doing one. I know Big Recon did one. Um, I know there's at least two or three other guys out there that have the kits uh, and are building trucks as well. Uh, maybe not this one. I know Classic, uh, I think it's Classic Plastic that's doing the uh, Rat Rod Freightliner. And um, uh, I know there's a couple other guys, I'm sorry I'm forgetting your guys' names, um, that are building semis right now also. So. Uh, I really wanted to build this one, and I had an idea in my head, and I couldn't get it out of my head, so I had to build it. And uh, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, show you guys what I came up with, first of all. Um, eight months now is what I've been on this YouTube community. Started eight months ago with my first build, getting back into the hobby, and um, thought it's think it's time for a name. Everybody's got a name. Um, so I uh, will be now referring to this, my work area, as uh, Rod and Rigs Customs. Um, rods and Rigs, that's what we do here. Um, I haven't done any bikes yet, uh, but even if I do, uh, the name will stay the same. Um, I will still be Big Boomski, uh, have been for more longer than I can remember. And um, now I'm coming to you from the uh, Rods and Rigs garage. So, uh, but uh, now that that being said, let me uh, show you guys what I came up with for this build. I'll get my camera off the tripod here. Peterbilt Model 359 Ravel. Now, I think the, uh, as far as these, um, Ravel kits, I think the, uh, as far as the truck kits go, now the, the car kits are pretty good, I like the car kits, but as far as the truck kits go, I think AMT's got a little nicer setup going on. Uh, their builds, their uh, models are a lot more detailed, and uh, I like, for some reason I like the parts and stuff a lot better from the AMT uh, truck kits. But uh, these Ravels, this one and the W900 are readily available at any Hobby Lobby and uh, everywhere online, so... You can get them fairly cheap. I think this one was 14 bucks. Same with the W900 I bought was 14 bucks. But uh, let me show you guys what I came up with. Hope you guys like it. First build out of Rods and Rigs Customs is this Peterbilt. Now this is uh, this is what it would look like cruising down the road. You know, I, as you can see in the front, I went fenderless. It was uh, screaming to me to go fenderless. Uh, I almost want to say that my inspiration for this build was that Bot 32 box right there. Um, and maybe because I was working on my 32 body a little bit before I built this. But, uh, yeah. Um, I love what I... I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. I'll give you guys a quick tour. Oops. Fenderless. I love the look. And I'm a truck driver and have been my whole life. And uh, I don't know why anybody hasn't done it before, but. I love the way it looks. 
Yes, these are the regular size truck tires, and I would not change them for customs at all. I love uh, the tall skinniness of them. I love the way they look with the way the truck sits. Now this is probably how I would cruise, because this is, was my my vision for the mall in the beginning. Let's just take that and set that over there. Now. Let me uh, try and get some of this through this, some of this custom work that I did. I customized a visor. Did not come with a visor. I customized a visor. I countersunk and uh, flush mounted my clearance lights to the front of the truck. The five clearance lights for the front. I smoothed out the top roof of the truck where the horns and lights usually go. Scratch built my uh, CB antennas just out of copper wire. That one kind of got a little bent. I'm going to straighten that one out. But, uh, see if it'll focus a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I uh, put old school rounded headlights on there from a. Actually, I think this was the other set from my 32. And the front bumper, which everybody goes with these big, fat Texas bumpers these days on the custom trucks. And I went small, like the one they usually put in the front of the 32. That yellow car right there, that little bumper crawling across the front. I don't know. Now, this isn't the bumper that came with this kit. I don't know where I got this one. It was out of my parts bin. I... Since I would cruise with the hood off, I came up with the custom, scratch built a custom firewall. Did the inside in a little bare metal foil, a little light green. Painted the seats to match the body. Detailed the dash. Black and chrome on the, on the steering wheel. Custom straight stacks. Now I saw a video, of, or and I don't know if it was a comment or if somebody said in the video, but they didn't understand why what the deal is with the extra long stacks. Um, these stacks are not extra long. Uh, they are in scale. They are 13 feet 6 inches off the ground, which is standard trailer height. Just because of the ride height that I wanted, they just look extra long, and I love the way they look, like I said. Uh, being a truck driver, I've always loved the long, tall stacks on the trucks. Um, that's just my opinion. But uh, that's what I went with on this one. Give, give you guys a quick tour there on the back. I've got the uh, six cab mounted uh, rear facing lights. I went with a triple trumpet scratch built train horn setup on the back of the cab. If you went to any truck stop or chrome shop today and looked for a train horn, that's what you would find is the three uh, three trumpet uh, style or a the actual whistle style. I went with the trumpet style. Um, went to the uh, to the back fender here or to the back bumper I took that off uh, out of my parts bin as well threw some lights on it uh, made my own mud flaps because I didn't like the hard plastic ones these aren't the tanks that came with this kit these are the tanks from I believe the Freightliner uh, AMT kit I thought they just looked way better and uh, painted up really nice and uh, bare metal foiled them and pinstriped them now the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change these deck plates in the back from the front to the rear. Uh, being that I was kind of broke, uh, I didn't have the money to go buy the uh, sheet styrene that I needed. So I had to use what I had around and it's a lot thicker than what I wanted. But you guys get the basic idea and that's real easy to change. It's kind of just tacked on there with a little bit of glue but come off real easy. Um, yeah, and that's... That's it, man. Like I said, I, I, I love the way this truck looks. And I hope you guys do too. Because she's badass.
without a doubt the my favorite build so far. So uh, yeah, that's my Peterbilt 359, guys. Um, hope you guys like it. Um, I went to uh, and just a quick thing in the front um, to get the right height that low. I scratch built a. <clears throat> I went away from the solid front axle and went to a scratch built independent front suspension, uh, air, airbag suspension, so still be able to handle the weight. And uh, yeah, so that's it, man. Um, like I said, I want to say happy Thanksgiving. And uh, to all my subscribers out there and to the whole modeling community as well. Um, I'm really glad to be part of this community. And I uh, uh, just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Alright, this is uh, Big Boonski from uh, Rods and Rigs Custom. And I'm out. Later guys.